Now, the first step is to restart a computer, simply restart a computer, and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Now, if you have the game on Steam, in that case, you can go to the official website, you can search in Google, and then you can go to the official website, and over here, you can see Play for PC. So you can you can uninstall this um, the Steam version if you want to, or you can simply install the game. You can install this launcher, and then uh, from the official website, run this and then install the game and then try to launch the game uh, from the website. You can install it and then launch the game. Now, still not, now, if you have the game on, like if you have the game from the website and you're facing the problem, in that case, you can install the game on Steam and then check. Next step is to set launch option on Steam. Now for this, select uh, when you launch the game, over here you can see where when it's made, DirectX 12. So you can try this DirectX 12 and then click on play. If this is already, uh, you're, all, you're facing problem with DirectX 12, in that case, you can try DirectX 11, launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have the game from the website, you can select DirectX 11 over here, enter the game and then check. If that does not work, you can uncheck it and then try the DirectX 12 and then check. Still not working, the next step is to run, the game, run Steam as an administrator. Now for this, you can, uh, close Steam, exit Steam, and then type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then click on Run as Administrator, and then you can check. Still not working. Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows Security, open Windows Settings. Go to Privacy and Security, and then click on Windows Security. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. Click on Add an Allowed App. And then click on Browse All Apps over here. Go to the Game Installation Folder where, wherever the game is installed. If the game is installed from the website, in my case, if it is in C Drive, you can select uh, the game exe file. You can select the launcher and then click on Open. And then if you have the game on Steam, then go to Program Files x86. If you have the game on C drive, go to the game installation folder. And then open the game folder. Engine binaries Win64. Select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once added, now you can launch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the uh, game exe file or the complete game folder to the exclusion list. If you're using inter ESET internet security, add the game and the game folder to, to the exclusion exclusion list. Now for this, you can go to this location in your ESET uh, application. Uh, you can go to this location and then you can add the game exe file and the game folder or you can find these option. Add just uh, add the complete game folder and the game exe file to the exclusion list and then relaunch the game. Next we should try these in launch option. My, for this make our on the Steam and go to Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in dash dx11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work, type in dash dx12 over here and launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can copy this command launch option. This is provided in the video description. Paste it over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, manage browse local files. And then you can find the game exe file uh, and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. If that does not work, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, you can select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can even try it Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform clean installation of a graphics card driver, NVIDIA card users, go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, your operating system, click on find. 
and on this page you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver whichever is the latest you can click on view and then click on download over here once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on uh, yes to allow click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once the clean installation is done restart the computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check amd card users do the same thing you can go to amd websites select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card this is just an example i don't have amd graphics and then select your operating system and then you can whichever is the latest graphic card driver you can download it install it restart the computer and then check still not working run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box sorry type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add even add the launcher as well and then scroll down find the game once you find the game click on the game select high performance you will see a graphic card now launch the game desktop user make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to try debug mode now for this go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel when it is open once it is open now go to help and then put a check on debug mode so if this is unchecked put a check over here once you have a check on debug mode now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working next step is to restore nvidia control panel settings go to nvidia control panel manage 3d settings and then go to global settings click on restore click on yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser scroll down it will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description download this x86 and x64 both the files download it run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install let the installation complete once both are installed restart it computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to windows n version users install media feature pack now for this open windows settings go to system scroll down go to optional features view feature yes type in media feature pack over here now i have windows 11 home edition i hope i don't have windows n edition if you have windows n edition you might see media feature pack when you type in put a check on media feature pack install it and after the installation you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to disable in, uh, integrated graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here if your computer has a dual graphic card like if you have integrated and discrete you can make a right click on in my case it's intel make a right click on integrated graphic card and then click on disable device and once done now you can launch the game and then check now once you are done playing the game or if you face any problem come back and then enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics card driver if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can scroll down click on view more versions you can download the older graphic card driver view it download it but when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and then restart the computer amd card users after you select your graphic card scroll down click on previous versions and you can select your operating system whichever you can install the latest uh, the older graphic card driver maybe this one or this one and download it install it restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to delete shader x set uh, direct x shader now for this type in disk cleanup in windows search box click on disk cleanup put a check on over here make sure that you put a check on direct x shader cache put a check on everything and then click on okay delete files these are temporary files once done restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to switch to ethernet if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can switch to wired connection and then check if you are using already using ethernet you can switch to wifi connection like you can connect use the wifi and then check still not working turn vpn off 
uh, and then check you can even close the vpn and then check next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows set box click on control panel hardware and sound power options I, in my case i have only balanced but if you see uh, power saver option like this you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings go to advanced graphics settings if this is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on relaunch the game and then check if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on OK, OK, you will see restart option, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default, so you can type in view advanced system settings once again, settings, advanced, change and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now it's still not working, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have like hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of uh, uh, external keyboard and mouse which you are not using like key chrome keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard you can razor tartarus you can disconnect it disconnect the um, dongle associated with it disconnect any kind of usb adapter uh, which you are not using disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it Disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make active in the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, turn it off. If it, if it is already on, uh, off, then turn it on. So try both on and off and check. Next step is to close other overlay application like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app settings over here and turn off this Nvidia overlay and then you can relaunch the game. Next step is to do not overclock, set it to default, close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI, Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows set box, click on system configuration. Go to the services tab, put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure you, are, you put a check over here first and then click on disable all, hit apply, click on OK, you will see a restart option, restart your computer and then check. If you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update in Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. Update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. Select your model number. Go to driver space and then download and install the BIOS. In case of laptop, 
Make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Next step is to disable resizable bar in BIOS. So if, you can be, if your BIOS has this option, you can disable it. Once done playing the game, make sure that you enable it again. And then still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. This has worked for many players. So make a right click, uninstall the game. Go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game, if the game was installed to D drive or E drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game was already installed to C drive. Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.